Steve wanted to cut some polystyrene, so we had the idea just to make a make a polystyrene cutter. As it happens, we got a freebie from uh, the Crazy Wire Company, wiring stuff that put at UK, um, along with some nickel wire that Robert ordered. So this is Canthal wire. It's a resistive wire that's made of chromium, aluminium, and iron. And uh, the iron, the aluminium oxide, allows it to heat up in air without fouling. So if you stick a current through this. In this case, we've just got a 12 volt supply going through it. It's about five ohms per 10 centimeter resistance. You get yourself a nice cutter for polystyrene. So we're just, all three of us together, just making a rig up and we'll show you our end product. So we need to get the parts for it. We need an armature to support the wire and also cut the polystyrene. This is a bit that we've pulled off an old heater stirrer. Rob and Steve do so much heating and stirring that this one has become knackered. So we're harvesting the parts, we're going to use them for various different things. We've got the, uh, the armature here, some nice feet on the bottom, and then there's the mount for the armature which we're going to use. So we like to do a lot of recycling around here, just reusing what we can find in order to make something new and useful. This and the um, little mounting bracket for the armature. Okay, so the point of cleaning there is before and there's after. It makes any old bit of tut look really nice if you bother to clean it. Alright, now it's time to assemble this. So, how this is going to work is this is going through the back. Give us our uh, mounting point for the armature. The armature will go in here. Then we have the armature arm. Here. And we can adjust the height. See the wire will go through the hole and be fastened on the bottom. It's going to be fastened on the bottom by another piece of brass which is going to be affixed here and then the wiring is going to go through here. There'll be a junction box there and the, a little cable tie there to for strain relief and the power will come out here. Alright, so I'm just going to assemble that now and get back to you. Just to ensure that there's no um, connection between the frame and the brass uh, mount for the wire, we've wrapped a bit of Kapton tape around the frame. There's a bit of silicon in there so that when I screw this in it doesn't go through the Kapton. And you can just check continuity then to check they haven't got a connection between the frame and the mounting point. She's all wired up. There's a piece of Canthal wire suspended between the brass mounting points. Let's plug her in and see what she can do. She's in. Now is she going to operate? Oh, look at that. Straight through. What a beauty. What a beauty. There you go. She works fantastic. Okay, so the reason we want that magic Meltatron that we made is to cut some polystyrene circles for a project that we're working on. Um, and I need one at 70, 110, 60mm and 43. So I've marked my polystyrene up and now I'm going to cut it on the Mega Meltatron. So we're plugging in. Got my first template ready here. Let's give it a go. And there we go. Perfect. So I've just been messing around with this, cutting a few things, and uh, I'm sure this is going to turn out to be an incredibly useful machine. It's useful for what Steve wants it for, and you know we've cut a bit of acrylic as well with it, and it's a fantastic little machine. So there you go. That's how you can build your own polystyrene cutter or you know thermal plastic cutter. Hope that was uh, useful, and thanks for watching.